be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus said to the crowds, This is what the kingdom of God is like. A man throws seed in on the land, night and day while he sleeps. When he is wake, the seed is sprouting and growing. How? He does not know. Of its own accord, the land produces first the shoot, then the ear, then the full grain in the ear. And when the crop is ready, he loses no time. He starts to reap because the harvest has come. He also said, What can we say the kingdom of God is like? What parable can we find for that? It is like a mustard seed, which at the time of its sowing, in the soil is the smallest of all the seeds on earth. Yet, once it is sown in, it grows into the biggest syrup of them, all oh, and puts out the big branches so that the birds of the air can shelter in its shade. Using parables like this, he spoke the word to them, so far as they were capable of understanding it. He would not speak to them except in parables. But he explained everything to his disciples when they were alone. The Gospel of the Lord. Again. <laughs> I think we all uh, try and try our best to like, come to the church uh, very early in the morning to get into heaven, get into God's kingdom. Is that correct? And what do you think about God, God's kingdom? What is the God's kingdom? Well, it's very simple, I think. We all think that in, in heaven or in God's kingdom, we live joyfully, happily, and without anyone. Yes, that's what we think about God's kingdom. And of course, without pandemic, no COVID-19 up there. That's very normal. That, that's what we think. I can't say that's not correct. But I can assure with you that it's not the kingdom that we hear in the gospel today, in the parables. So let us go through that two parables. See, what is Jesus trying to reveal to us? What is the kingdom we should understand? The first parable about a farmer sowing seed on the land, and then it grow and it bear fruit and have a great harvest. So what is the kingdom there? He said, the kingdom is similar to this. So what do you find out? I believe that it's not the seed, it's not the land, it's not the harvest either. So what is the kingdom? For me, it may be, it may be, the kingdom is the power the secret power in there, in the little seed, make it grow in a dry town, in a dry place, make it grow and bear fruit. That is similar to God's kingdom. And the same with the second uh, parable about the little mother seed and grow up into a big tree. I think the, the little mother seed is not kingdom, the big tree is not kingdom either. That's obvious. 
But maybe the power we can't see in the little seed, we can't see in the big tree. But obviously, when we say that parable, we can imagine something special in there. And it turned the little one into a big thing. It makes different. And always you see in the parables that, that the Lord, if he tried to tell us about God's kingdom, we can see the paradox on that. From very little, become a big thing. From nothing. And even you're not aware of that, it turned into something. So through those parables, and if we, we go in that way, I, I must say that kingdom of God is not something that we often think of. We think of a place or a country that you try to earn the visa to get in. No way. You can't find it. But with what the gospel today reveals to us, we can believe that the kingdom of God is a secret power. It's in there, in here. It's already in this world. Whether you know it or not, whether you accept it or not, it's there. And the Lord say many times, the kingdom of God is at hand. He say it, it is at hand. We often think, oh, he say that because it's very close. No, it, it, it at hand. It, it, you can touch it if you are aware of it. The beautiful thing from the kingdom of God is Hick at noon, which means it's there but not yet. It's there, but you need to accept it. You need to aware of it. And then it will turn this world upside down. It will turn your world upside down from the little thing to a big thing, if you believe. And it will turn you from the little human being into something bigger that we call heaven. <coughs> How? I don't know. But I believe. I believe the kingdom of God is here at our hand. We only need to believe and ask the Lord to strengthen our faith. If we're strong in that faith, that power, the secret power of the kingdom of God will change our life. Only that power can change our life and bring us into what we call kingdom of God. So, what should we do? When we understand like that about God's kingdom. So what should we do? I believe that our job is not to look and try to make sure that, whoa, what is God's kingdom? We can't, we can't do that. And also, our job is not try to find out what time or where God's kingdom will come. No, that's not our job. I think our job is very simply that believe like we do here. Whatever we do, we do in terms of believe in God, believe in the, the secret of, of God's kingdom. And we believe in hope and in love. If we do that, surely the secret power that the Lord already put it in this world, inside of each and every one of us, will turn us, will make us strong, and will make us bear fruit. And then 
God will have with us into God's kingdom. So be courage. Keep believing. Keep asking the Lord strengthen us and give us courage every day. Give His Holy Spirit be with us. And especially the love and mercy of the Lord is always there for us.